The Citizen Tsuyosa review video was probably the most watched review video I made for our channel last year. We talked about the different and beautiful color options at that time. I already expected that they would release new colors after it was a very popular model, but it was a surprise to me that they improved the watch and released a brand new version that was technically even better. I know that many subscribers here have been waiting for me to review this watch, so today we are going to review this new model with all the colors that are available as usual. For now, Citizen has announced three different color options for this new model, two with a steel bracelet and one with a leather strap. Of course, I have all three in my hands right now, and we will have the chance to see them side by side for the first time. Although it looks quite similar to the standard Suyosa at first glance, I think there are very serious differences this time. Now, without further ado, let's quickly move on to the review and discuss the technical specifications of the watch. The case diameter is 40 mm, the thickness is 11.8 mm and the length is 45 mm. I said 45 mm for the length, but this is the measured value excluding the end links on the bracelet. It is worth remembering that it will be a bit longer on the wrist. The top surfaces of the case are matte with vertical brushing, while the sides and chamfers are polished shiny. So far everything is identical to the standard Suyosa, but the first serious difference starts with the crown placed at 4 o'clock. Careful eyes have noticed that this time the crown has been enlarged a bit more to make it easier to grip and use. Again, there is no logo application and again a push-pull type crown is chosen. As a result, the watch is still 50 meters water resistant like the standard version. In my opinion, this is a risky value for swimming and for a sports design watch, it would be better to reach at least 100 meters like its competitor Tissot PRX, but of course it should be added that it will not cause any problems in daily use. We again have an open case back design, but this time, unlike the first version, the watch is powered by the 8322, a caliber automatic movement developed by Citizen's Miyota family. Technically, this is still a 21,600 beats movement that supports manual winding and hacking, but the seconds hand has been moved from the center to the sixth position as small seconds and the power reserve has been increased to 60 hours. Compared to the 40 hours of the standard 8 series Miyota movement, this extra 20 hours will surely be a serious improvement for some users. In this caliber, the rotor again only winds in one direction, but I don't think you will feel the negative effect of this in daily use. The power reserve is not the only improvement in the movement. It also has some light decorations, albeit visually nothing spectacular, and a skeletonized rotor was also considered to show these details more easily. The first generation of Tiosas used the plain standard Miyota movement in the yellow version, and I think it didn't create any visual excitement. With this movement, I think Citizen has given more importance to the premium feel of the watch, visually as well. One of the parts that has received a serious update compared to the first generation is definitely the bracelet. The first thing I noticed is that the part of the bracelet that connects to the case, or rather the middle links, are wider. In the standard Tsuyosa bracelet, these middle bright links were narrower, and for this reason, the bracelet resembled the President bracelet of Rolex, which I like a lot. This new bracelet is more unique and different. The space between the bracelet links has also been slightly increased, which seems to provide extra air circulation and comfort. The taper has been made much less this time and a more masculine image has been captured on the wrist. We can also see a very serious improvement on the clasp. The butterfly type clasp, which is preferred in this model instead of the standard folded one, has of course added an extra sense of quality to the watch. However, the problem of not being able to micro adjust this type of clasp will also be encountered here. To overcome this, it is nice to have a shorter link at each end, so by removing enough of the full or short links, anyone can make an exact adjustment for themselves. With the switch to the butterfly clasp, I can say that the bracelet has definitely leveled up in terms of quality, but I would like to add that I like the president look and extra taper of the old type bracelet more. This time, as you can see, the grey version comes with a leather strap. And this is a very serious upgrade, because I forgot to tell you about the bracelet, these watches now have an easy strap exchange system. It's very easy to switch from a bracelet to a leather strap, which we also saw on the Tissot PRX, and most importantly, we don't have to rely on the bracelet that comes with the watch for the rest of our lives. It seems that with different color variants and strap options, this series will keep its place in the watch market for many years to come. This strap has an average quality feel. Again, it comes with a deployment clasp, which gives a higher quality feel and also helps to prolong the aging time of the strap. I think the black leather strap goes especially well with this grey color. Before I got my hands on the watch, I was a bit skeptical about the leather strap version, but now I can easily say that it has a completely different feel. It feels less sporty, but more like an elegant dress watch. The bracelets and leather straps produced for this watch 
the small second series, will not be compatible with the first generation Toyosas because the links are of different widths. Unfortunately, in the watch world, as in many other sectors, backward compatibility in new models is not very common. I would like to welcome you guys at the watch loop. Hi, my name is Ad, and I'm just a watch geek like yourself. I'm not a watch dealer, nor a professional YouTuber who's trying to sell you something. And no, this video is not sponsored by Squarespace, and definitely not sponsored by Skillshare or whatever. Just me and you. This is a brand new channel, and if you have ever needed a watch loop to review some decent watch, this is it. You may now consider subscribing to the watch loop channel. Anyway, let's move on to the video. And finally we come to the front face. Again, of course, our watch has sapphire crystal and yes, I think this is a very serious advantage. On the dial, you may have noticed some serious changes. The spiral texture surface has been successfully achieved and Citizen has demonstrated how much they have mastered this after the Zenshin model we reviewed on the channel in the past months. The small second dial in a contrasting color and placed at the 6 o'clock position and the second hand also in a contrasting color breathe new life into the design. The hands and indices are of the same type, but this time Citizen has managed to achieve a higher symmetry by not using a date window. In the first generation Suyosas, I personally didn't like the date window much, or rather the cyclops they used on the crystal. I think it's more accurate this way, but if you notice I say I think because the design part is quite subjective. On the first generation dial, the Citizen printing at the top and the automatic at the bottom created a very simple look, but in the layout, I thought that there was unnecessary empty space and that they should be a little bit closer to the center. This time with the small second dial below, these two lines also in print are together above and seem to be much more accurately aligned. As far as I can see, there is no extra improvement in loom. It was already enough. I can easily say that the looms were left the same. Before I give my final opinion on the watch, I would like to take a quick look at all the three colors available on the market. If everyone who has the opportunity writes which color they like more as a comment below, we will have both interaction and a small survey. Okay guys, now let's talk about my opinion of the watch. The updated movement got full points from me both with its power reserve that increased to 60 hours and its visual extras. According to me, it is a very serious improvement. The bracelet and especially the clasp definitely add an extra sense of quality to the watch, but I think I would have preferred the bracelet of the first version cosmetically. The textured structure on the dial definitely adds a more premium feel to the watch, just like the other small details. But I think what makes the biggest difference in this watch is the versatility achieved thanks to the easy to change bracelet system. With the bracelet, you get the feeling of a sports watch with an integrated bracelet, but when you switch to the leather strap, the small second feature that we are used to seeing more often in dress watches comes to the fore and you have a very nice dress watch. Citizen has presented another beautiful watch that can be used both ways and will confuse the minds while searching for a watch for many years. If the bracelet had a little more taper and the water resistance value had reached 100 meters, I think it would easily sit at the top of the list, but there is no such thing as a perfect watch. We watch geeks will always keep looking for perfection. If there is a general request, I can prepare a comparison video for these three citizen models that have entered our lives in the last two years, namely Tsuyosa, Tsuyosa Small Second and Zenshin. We can even add Tissot PRX, which is considered to be its most serious competitor. If you comment below, I will try to prepare the content in the future. For now, Goodbye and I will see you soon on the next one.